I'm going to be working on trying to finish this pull request. Um, so I rewrote part of the code to make it easy for the developer to understand what's going on. Um, and so I got a couple pieces of feedback. Uh, so he's got a couple comments. Uh, can we keep this style consistent and do this as in the other line 248 above? Uh, because lamb does have a slight overhead. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need to get fancy with the lambda syntax. So let me go into Shogi Rules Engine. I was just so excited to start using the lambda and see it used effectively. Uh, this is line 270. Wait, so Control L is not jump to line. I don't know if there this IDE has a jump to line command. Would it be G for go to? Oh yeah, go to. 270. All right, so here he was asking, like, could we do away with this and instead write this the easy to understand way? So if piece dot is present and piece dot get dot is center piece is equal to is center. Um, so he prefers the style. Uh, the JVM probably compiles it to the more optimal form anyway. I don't know. Maybe someday a compiler will do smart things with that. I don't really care which way it's written. If I had my preference, it would be to use the lambda. Um, but no, this his suggestion's fine. I can do that. Um, Let's see, and then here he proposes, uh, what's that? Oh, Shogi Rules Engine line 280. He's proposing rewriting some of this. So, let me try rewriting it myself first. So, let's see. If target piece dot get dot is center piece is equal to is center. This is how I would write this. How did he try to write it? Okay, yes, he wrote it the same way. Um, so, um, Let's see, did I use this filter anywhere else? Not in this file. All right. Uh, does this still pass all the tests? Run all tests. Let's go. Let's go, test, test, test. Great. All right, let's commit this. Commit file. Um, Avoid optional dot filter. Uh, uh, revert coding style, uh, which, yeah, uh, revert advance no revert the coding style uh, change for optional comparisons um, yes this is fine and let's commit and push that And all the tests should pass. Wait, what's up in Play Shogi website? Oh, yeah, local stuff. That's not a Java file, that's some other file. All right, let's refresh this list of suggestions. Um, yeah, mark this resolved. 
Um, let's see, over here. What was this comment? Yeah, so there is some performance cost returning an optional on basic operations. This is true. Thanks. Uh, yes, I did consider that there is some overhead. Um, um, although in some code complexity um, although protecting against undefined behavior uh, protecting against uh, potential hidden null pointer exception um, uh, I think um, days or months from now um, when a returned value uh, when the return value of a public method is pat uh, <sighs> when null references leak <laughs> um, now how do I explain this protecting a uh, potential subtle no pointer exception, which could occur anywhere in the code base. Uh, um, I don't know. Seems uh, worth it at least for such a fundamental construct as a square reference. All right, so what have I missed here? What are our lovely comments? Uh, we were hoping to get added just copying SFENs of problems so you could put it into your own GUI. You reread something, and then when you realize you send it, there's yes, yeah. If you double typed a word, or used the word there, or used the wrong word entirely, there is a comic for this, believe it or not. Um, seems worth uh, some slight overhead and some slight code complexity. Uh, for a reference uh, at least for a reference um, we expect At 
least for long-lived references or values. Uh, all right, so yeah. um, are there any unresolved comments or conversations? Yep. So I think, yeah, I've incorporated all the feedback that was recommended. Yep. All right. So at this point, having obtained or having uh, satisfied, in my opinion, uh, all the feedback, now I can re request a review and ask, like, what do you think about this now? Uh, so I think that'll be fine. Um. Ha, <laughs> shit. Okay, wait, no, this is not an issue. This is a pull request. Okay, fine. That's good. I was actually really curious about this, too. So we'll keep in the loop, see what the maintainer thinks about that. Um. All right, so code golfing is done. Boy, did we go on quite the expedition doing a ton of code golfing. Yeah, so I see your comment about it'd be nice to export the SVEN. Um, anything that could have like legal implications, I'm going to try to avoid touching. And since I don't know where the database of problems came from, I don't know if it's legal to export the SVEN. So I, I'm going to defer to the maintainer about, I mean, it always sounded like he was favoring it. One thing I might add, um, since people are apparently going through all the problems in some sort of numbering order, well, I was thinking I could just display the number and have a control that iterates through the puzzles. This is terrible, of course, from a database perspective, because you should never show a table's primary key on a screen. Uh, you want to have some other kind of thing. Uh, you would never want to show a primary key on a screen because then people will want to change it. Um, that's just how things go eventually. Anything that can be shown has a meaning. Anything that has a meaning, you might want to change the meaning. Um, but, yeah. I think before I... Um, do anything with uh, displaying an ID or something else and allowing you to iterate through problems, I would like to see some decision on this. So, like, yeah, I'm not going to touch creating a new way to iterate through the problems in numeric order until I understand um, if, if this bug fix is any good. Um, so let's see, what other things are there? What other issues are in this issue list? Um, I gave this upgrade to GWT 2.9 a shot earlier. It looks hard. I don't know if I could get that done today. Um, show coordinates on board. That sounds boring. That sounds like busy work. I don't want it. I suck at UI stuff, or I, I don't have an interest in it, unless I get paid to do it. And this is clearly a volunteer effort, so I'd, I'd rather leave UI details to somebody uh, better at that stuff. Um, so, what else? Um, so there is the one thing. I know I just said that about UI stuff, but here's... I think we're now in a position to do this. So I'd commented that, um, yeah, previously there was this bug where the opponent's pieces in hand could spill onto the board. Um, is this fixed? So if I go to this site and I allow Gota to start taking all the pawns, uh, what's this going to look like? if lots and lots of pawns get captured. Okay, there's a pawn, there's a pawn, there's a pawn, there's a pawn, there's a pawn. I'm guessing these no longer spill onto the board. And the reason I'm guessing this is because I think I tried this before. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty standard technique. Um, but okay. Um, let's... There we go. We've got our leech us code changes pushed to GitHub. We can close that. Um, let me switch to the master branch. Branches. Master. Check out. Checked out master. Git. Repository pull. Yeah. Okay, all files are up to date. So. Um. Yeah, I, I guess I could take a closer look at some of the data, but it seems that for these problems, um, here, let's keep fewer pieces on the board. So for these problems, it looks like the way they're stored, uh, Gota's pieces are never um, in the data file, I guess. I don't know. Um, well, I should not speculate. So here what I should do is go compile all my code again. Uh, let's see. Lifecycle install. Great. Um, wonderful. So which of these things... I mean, I think Shogi Engine is for interfacing with an engine. And if I do install again, will it work this time? No. Okay. Uh, this is taken from the Play Shogi library models. Alright, let's try to install the library common. Okay, library commons installed. Now let's install Shogi. That's installed. Now let's install Shogi engine. No, Shogi files. So by install, we mean just compile this and keep a copy of it lying around in case we need it. Um, and I don't think I have a Shogi engine locally, but the engine interface library is working. And then this thing for communicating with the database is working. Um, note, for me to be able to run my code locally with good data, uh, I will need to hack this file a bit. Due to some MySQL issues. Alright, so that's compiled. And then let's build the website. And apparently, the way to do that, we build this web archive, WAR, and then we execute dev mode. You don't need go to space, just, yeah. So the first step is see, can I observe the problem at all? I think so. I think this is observable. And second, if I observe it, then try to figure out like what the cause of the problem is before trying to um, propose a solution. All right, so I can observe this problem. That's step one. Step two is, um, I forget if I did a run or a debug on that. I guess we'll find out. Um, so, I think um, somewhere in here, resides a class. Well, here's the client stuff. Oh, I think the yeah, Shogi board is the widget. 
or the composite rather. Um, all right, so then we have the image of, um, hmm, I don't actually know. Uh, I didn't realize that these are separate images. Like, to me, both piece stands look identical. I guess there's some subtle difference in the wood or something. But anyway. Um, but yeah, the piece stand word is this word. So... So you can optionally disable that display altogether. Um... Display position. All right, so here we can put a breakpoint to see what's going on. There we go. And if I say skip next, I don't hit my breakpoint. That's because I'm probably not debugging in dev mode. Debug. So maybe next time. I will actually get to observe my code in action. Um, we'll find out. All right, go. Problems. All right, there's a problem. Um, skip next. All right, did we hit the breakpoint? I have no idea. Guess not. All right. Um, well, this is what display position does. Um, OK, let's put another breakpoint somewhere, see if we can hit that. Nope. Fuck. All right, this is going to be a lot harder to troubleshoot if I can't use breakpoints. Um, so, I mean, yeah, we could add a hack, but it's possible the hack might also not work. Science requires identifying what's going on before trying to go fix things. Although, you could experiment and just see if you could randomly guess what the answer is. Um, yeah, it's not going to hit my other breakpoint either. Openings. Problems. Three moves. Next. Well, hmm. Okay, this is unfortunate for multiple reasons, but sure. Uh, Shogi position. So there's only two creators of a state. Um, yeah, this is unfortunate. Um... Let's take a look at what creates the state with this pre-populated. From Sven. Oh, good. So, shogi position. 
Yeah, right, I knew that. Um, is there a way I can get the reverse, like, the collars of the collars of the collars of the collars of this thing, instead of tracing this one step at a time? Oh, um, sorry. So, yeah, this is one consumer. Um, what calls this from SFEN thing? The SFEN converter. I mean, the problem might just be the data. Like, if I were to update the data in the database or fix the import process or something, that might be the solution. Instead of trying to fix the UI to work around uh, goofy data. Because the next thing is you'll want to add an engine, and so for the engine you'll also have to generate what the pieces are, and then, like, well, I guess you can't really have the king in hand. That'd be kind of weird. Um, hmm. Also, yeah, I might have to implement a definition of equals. Um, I don't know. Yeah, the more I'm thinking about it, trying to fix the data could be problematic because then I don't know what the data is supposed to look like. I don't know what Shogi engines handle in terms of SUMA solving and what the standard representation for that is. So maybe I should just regard this as a UI bug and try to make up for it somehow. Um, I bet there's not a whole lot of documentation on this either. Entering King Tactics Fast Checkmate. See also. Yeah. Um. So I just want, like, the data format of these. Everybody has their own damn format. Okay, so the Defender is considered to have all in the hand all pieces from the original set of 39, 40 minus the attacker's king, that are not shown in, in the board or in the hand. This is sometimes described in the problem. Okay. So, yeah, I think that description there, that this the pieces in hand are sometimes described in the problem. Um, that's the best info we got. So, yeah, we do have to accommodate. Um,
Oh wait, I should see, are there Sume solving engines? And do they accommodate this? I think there's at least one. Hmm. A simple shogi engine for dart and flutter can be combined with etc. But this is not. This is not an engine, right? In the sense of something that plays a position. Um. Uh. I hate to put all this cluttered logic into the UI instead of the data converter. Ah, uh. okay. And I'm curious whether those engines tolerate having an incomplete description of the position. I assume they do. <sighs> so, but, yeah, this really doesn't belong in the UI. This should be done in the data import code. So, I'm going to fix the data importer and not bother with the UI. Yeah, if somebody wants to change the UI to handle all the data formats, fine, but I think it's during data import that we can best clean this. Um, so we have a description of all these pieces. We have like, is the Centus turn or not? To do more validation, read captured pieces, and that's it. Um, It's not a piece, it should be a number, or rather a digit. Um, okay, so we add all of those pieces, and then we construct a new shogi position. Now, um, Hmm. I mean, I guess this might not belong in the SFEN converter either. I'm not sure. No, this is part of like importing a file. This really is. Um, so. If this is a Suma problem, no goat, uh, no Santa King, give um, remaining pieces to Gota. All right, so are there comments in this file? All right, there are. So. Uh, we got a shogi board state, which has got all kinds of fancy stuff in it, um, but it doesn't have a way to... <laughs> I still haven't created a routine to locate the king. That's delightful. Well, I'm not going to make one now. Not with all my other changes still pending. So instead, we're going to just do the ridiculous thing of scanning every square on the board like we've done before. We're going to do that again here. Um, so if, no, shogi board state dot get, um, oh, I'm sorry. I need to construct the new position in order to be able to scan the board. Okay. Well, that's special. I forgot this get all the squares is actually a member of this shogi position. Well, there's a chicken and the egg problem, if there ever was one. 
All right, so I guess during import, I need to keep track of uh, whether or not I encountered a king. That's kind of annoying. Well, on the other hand, um, string rows. Um, yeah, because like this shogi board state does know it does define what a first row and a first column is. It just doesn't define how many. Oh, there is a get last row. Okay, I stand corrected. All right, so I could iterate through um, and figure out where I'm missing uh, the king. That's special. All right, well, let's do it. Uh, square king is equal. Center king is equal to null. And then four int column equals zero. Nope. I already made a mistake. This is shogi board state. Get. Okay, well. Alright. Apparently, I'm supposed to assume. Somehow I'm supposed to know whether get last column is one based or zero based. Um, I think it actually doesn't matter. Wait, okay, yeah, it makes sense we're building the diagram. We have to build it this way. Is first column private? No, it's public. So. Yeah, this is the way that uh, we do a loop iteration, except here um, you need to do a little of this and a little of that, and then this is going to warn me because this should be uppercase. Okay, and then we want to do something like this for not for columns, but for rows. Row is uh, compared to get last row. And you row, row, row your boat. All right. Ah, Seo Sume is the Sume solving engine. Beautiful. Nice. Um. Perfect. That's delightful. Um, sure. This probably won't light your computer on fire. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, its name is Sayoma. It can be downloaded and used on a computer. I guess that differentiates it from like a mobile device. Um, So, I'm wondering, as delightful as all of this is, uh, the copyright is owned by the author. Um, so, even though that's like free, it's not free in the sense of me being able to modify and redistribute it um, in source code form. So, yeah, as great as that is. Also, it didn't even make this, unfortunately. But yeah, hopefully over time more engines will make this list. Ooh, Tanuki. It's another open source 
Uh, it's cool that there are so many open source engines out there. Um, oh, a tiny code. Nice. Compatible with VC++ 2015. GPL 3.0. GPL 3. Yeah, let's star that. Don't know if I could get everything working, but hey. Uh, kudos to them for making this. And then also me. GPL3. Um, yeah, I'm going to star that anyway. If they ever re-release it, I'll know. Okay, NUE Nets. Or hits, yeah. I'm going to keep watching that. Here... Yeah, I agree with Noob here. A lot of GUIs change the working directory. Um, yeah, it really shouldn't be the engine's responsibility to manage the working directory of the engine. Um, all right, so. Um, so the next thing I'm checking is if shogi board state dot get well <laughs> this is gonna collide with my other change. Shit. This is a bad idea. Um both of these are bad ideas. That's amazing. Um <laughs> Alright, so what is this? If not a piece, it should be a number. Um, <laughs> if not a piece, it should be a number. The fuck? How am I supposed to interpret this code? So, like, they took a string representation, SFEN, and they split it, if I remember right. So now it's split into rows. And then there's this I value here. Why do we need that reference? What is I used for? It's used to count the row at which to do the insertion. Okay. <sighs> so, oh wait. Yes, yeah, so this is reading the board pieces. So by the time we're done reading the board, we should know if there's a king on the board. I knew that. Um, there's no need to search through the hand looking for, um, yeah, let's initialize this. P is equal to piece from char if P is equal to null. Aye. I mean... Yeah, but yikes. So if there's not a piece, then count out some number of empty spaces. Otherwise, if prom, get the promoted version of the piece. Either way, set the piece at here. Um, And I'm going to check if uh, 
You know, I'm just going to make that a boolean. And we're going to initialize that to false. And then the condition we need to check here is if p dot uh, this is into piece and p dot get piece type is equal to piece type dot king. Now, can I check? Is there a concept on a piece called get type? No. So there's a get piece type, which attains the piece type here. But isn't there like a get piece? Wait, oh. OK, piece is an enum. So I'm doing something pretty fairly ridiculous here. So instead of this big comparison, I could say if this is equal to piece dot sent to uh, what? We got Gota King. Where's Sente King? Here it is. I knew that. All right. So if Sente has no king. Maybe I should keep a count, a running count of all the pieces, types, and so on and so forth. Um, so I don't have to read it back out later. Hmm. There's so many issues. So, what now? <laughs> well, it occurs to me probably the easiest thing to do would be to do the same thing players do when they're actually setting up a uh, game of shogi. And that's have a box of pieces. So, I, what a mess. Um, collection. Well, I want this to be sorted too, but it's not going to be a distinct set. Um, is equal to new honestly a realist is probably best and this is going to have a type of piece type um, multiple things. I can only add multiple if I have a collection. Alright. Um, Alright, screw that. So, arrays. Nope. Arrays dot as list. And then I could put all the pieces into this list. So we're going to have a piece type dot king. We're going to have another one of those. All right, this compiles as is, right? Yeah, OK, good. So I'm at least on the right track. So we have two kings. 
We're going to have a couple of rooks, a um, couple bishops. Um, just for completeness sake, let me get all the piece types listed, and then we'll figure out how many of each we have to worry about. Gold, gold, silver, silver. Um, all this, also this is pretty unconventional the way I'm listing it. Um, then next to the silvers we have the knights. And next to that we have the lance and the lance. And next to, well, next to consider, we have tons of pawns. Lots and lots and lots of pawns. Um, three, six, nine. Um, there we go. That's a lot of pawns. So this is not quite the complement of what's in the bag. There we go. That's how much is in a standard uh, box. Um, so yeah, we could fit six pawns to a line of code. And then each time we put one of these on the board, we remove it from the set of pieces. Um, so, remove, um, p dot, get piece type. And then we check at the end here if pieces dot contains piece type dot king. Um, yeah, there we go. And we're assuming that's a sente king, but we don't know. But either way, um, pieces dot remove, piece type dot king, and then for all the remaining pieces, just stick them into Gota's hand. Um, so, how is that done? Heck if I know. Um, oh wait, set pieces of type. That's annoying. Um, Hmm, okay. I guess we're going to do this before populating the player's hands. Um, so we've read the board pieces. Read the captured pieces. All right, fine. Let's see, I will have to patch this. Because we do need to actually read in Senta's hand before we can start filling Gota's hand. All right, so. Wait, if there's a set pieces of type, is there a, there is a get pieces of type. So my counting is in vain. Alas. Whatever. Um, my method works too. Okay. Um... Four piece 
type type in piece type that values. Yeah. No need to consult what's in my little box there. Instead we could say here for this piece type set the number of pieces or um, the count equal to this um, we're going to say just four minus that expression now this is wrong for an obvious reason um, because uh, some uh, oh wait no, I could actually, as I'm going, remove things from the bag. No, if it's not a piece... Okay, so never mind. We do count pieces in bag and treat them as numbers. So, yeah, we'll just do the math down here. Um, that's fine. So, the problem here is that um, with respect to a rook or a bishop, or a pawn, the piece counts are different. Um, int piece count is equal to If uh, type is equal to piece type dot bishop, piece count is equal to two instead. Um, yeah, I should switch on that. Default is going to be piece count. It's going to be four. Um, case piece. Wait, what? We have all these assignments down here, and then uh, yeah, then we do use this number, so all my underlines are going to go away. Duplicate branch. Yeah, merge it. Show me how would you prefer to see that merged. Okay, cool. Works for me. Um, and then we're going to have another case for pawn. Where we're going to have a total of 18 of them. Now, when we're iterating through piece types, okay, pawn comes first. So let's put pawn first here as well. Oh, whoops, I made kind of a math error here. I made kind of a large math error. Um, so I'm counting only the ones that are in hand. Turns out there are some pieces still on the board. Um, so... How do I count the number of pieces that are on the board? I kind of have that count already. In fact, yeah, I have that count. Oh my god. I'm dumb. Uh, pieces. Dot. Uh, 
if no. Ah, <sighs> yeah, no, you're right. We want to stream dot count. Um, except this needs to be a type long then, or we need to cast it as an int. Um, and we want to check that the p p to get piece type um is equal to type now wait a second uh, wait, no, these are piece types. I don't need to call get piece type. Um, wait, isn't there a form of count which takes a lambda? No, <laughs> that would be too convenient. All right, um, let's see, um, Java, let's see, collection count match, um, collections dot frequency. Uh, wait. It was introduced in JDK 5? Are you kidding me? How did I not know this? This is like the only good thing. Well, no, I'm exaggerating a lot. That's really interesting. Yeah, Java 5 had a, a number of good features, but I promise you nobody knows this thing exists. Um, this particular frequency method. Um, so our collection is pieces. And uh, what we're wanting to count is type. And this returns an int. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, so instead of the switch and all those 35 other things we were looking at. Um, yep. Yeah. This is how many pieces there are. And then we subtract off the number of pieces that Senta has in hand. Um, And that should fix our data import issue. Now I could move this code into Shogi position or something, maybe. Um, I'm debating that. Just so it'd be easier for me to verify, even if I don't want it to stay in Shogi position. Um, on the other hand, I'm not going to have this frequency list. I'd have to come up with a different way of generating that if I were to move this into the constructor. Um, uh, what? Alright. I think that's fine.
<sighs> the only problem, the reason I keep hesitating here, is this isn't exactly the easiest thing to test. Well, no, there is a main method right there. Whoever produced this code, produced this, uh, intended to test this code. However, um, what would be ideal would be creation of an actual test class. I mean, we could run this. Why not? Probably should have started all of this by just running the example. Sure, reload the changed classes. So this is the output, and we get the word true printed out, and that's lovely. Um, but yeah, that's not like something in a test harness. Um, refactor. Add right to left support. Yeah, clearly that's what I need. Some RTL. Um, generate test yes good enough um, we're going to call it test main or whatever yes let's add this file to git um, And then this is the test, so run it there. Um, give it a name. What's the method we're testing? We're testing from SFED. Also, like, does this need to be static? I guess. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, now that's... I'm kind of having difficulty describing this, what we just did. Um, and we'll put our test thing up here. Yeah, make that private so it can only be consumed by this class. Um, and then we need to assert that we have a quality on Sven versus this expression that's converted. This is not of type int, it's of type whatever type it needs to be. Yes, that's what I meant. Um, and from SFEN returns a shogi position. So probably a better name than ASDF would be position. There we go. Um, yeah, let's run this test. Oh, do I have that stuff still running in the background? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, let's... Can I terminate this? Okay. Apparently, I've got this process still spinning. And I don't know how to kill it. This is strange. All right, whatever. I'm going to terminate things the hard way. Yes, yes, please. 
That's all I wanted was just to terminate that process, but you didn't give me a button to do that. Um, I guess that was the button. I just didn't look at the right screen. All right, let's go back into idea. I don't know if you can see it, my, my display is blinking as my screen dimmer is going on and off and on and off because Windows is being Windows. Um, there we go. But yeah, my test should still run. Honestly, we're testing... Yeah. Test convert. Um, from spin and to spin. This is not the ideal way to write a test. Wait, what? Rename usages of test to spin to there aren't any usages of this. This is an independent method. There's no need to convert anything. It just works. Um, now when we... Okay, so the variable name here is Sven here too. Great. Um, let's see. Okay, I am confused. So, this particular function from Sven is consumed all over the place, and it constructs a 9x9 board in every instance. And it takes a string Sven instead of some other kind of data construct that's already pre-sanitized. Yeah, this is just not the most flexible thing ever. And kind of an argument for moving to a more dynamic language like Kotlin or something, but anyway. Or a more concise language like Kotlin. Where if you write something wrong the first time, it's not that hard to remedy. Um, but anyway, so... Um... Oh wait, so I am currently on the master branch. So how about before I mess things up, let's switch to a new branch. Um, new branch. Um... The description of the problem while well, we had it in our browser earlier um, and we can get our way back there you are play shogi issues how is it described here uh, and suma shogi put unused pieces in gota's hand suma unused pieces there we go. Um, in Zoom, Shogi put, yeah, actually, this is a really good description. Fine. Yeah, we're just going to you know, steal that quite literally and commit that. And I'm not in any real hurry to. Nine warnings. Fine, we'll review the damn warnings. String concatenation and loop. These are not new warnings. Don't warn me about it. Um, this could produce null pointer exception. I am aware. All right. These are not new warnings. Why did you warn me? 
You're trying to help. All right, I don't know how to get past this. Commit. All right, I can always amend that commit. I'm not pushing it to GitHub yet, but I'm committing that just in case things go haywire for whatever reason. Um, so my next step is to go delete all the problems. <laughs> uh, right? It's funny how I say those two things right in succession. Um, so yeah, we're going to connect to my database and purge all my sume. I don't know... That might not be practical. Uh, tables. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how else do I do this? I could try to make a new schema, but I don't know how to do that either. Um. Yeah, there's only one table I don't want to truncate, and that's the PS tag table. Because it contains this one very important record in it. Gold at head. But yeah, the other ones I do wish to truncate. So... Um, First to put a space before the final semicolon or whatever. Um, yes, Kifu. Kifu POS. I guess do purging the player table is not really necessary, but let's do it anyway. So I don't know in what order I would have to purge these for it to uh, work the way it should. Problem set PBs. tag yeah we have ps tag ps user etc ps venue what is in ps venue oh okay All right, we're going to just keep running these until they all execute eventually. Um, okay, can I delete from PS game? What can I delete from PS Venue? Sure, whatever, so... Yep, we deleted the games, we delete the games. Oh, Control-Enter executes. Okay, fine. Yeah. 
and something could be said for having a more modular import. Uh, Kifu POS has to go before Kifu P. Okay. So we get rid of all the Kifu positions that reference the Kifu. <sighs> Something could be said for having more modular process for all this. All right, PS problem. References all of this. So I'm gonna move that up. Okay, PS problem is referenced by PS problem tag. Add it. The PV stable, although yeah, that's already empty. Um, okay, and then we can purge the problems, except if there's another foreign key reference. And this foreign key reference is what? Problem tag. Okay. Move problem tag above problem. Okay, we've purged problem tag. Purge the problems. Attempt to purge the kifu. Those are gone. Player. Venue. Alright. There we go. Mission accomplished. So now I can run the Suma importer, assuming I still have the data file. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I'm host. But that's okay. The code shall live on one way or another. Um, so, source main. Let's see. Suma1, Suma importer. So for this to work, first of all, the data set I had didn't have all that fancy stuff in it. Secondly, I don't have a home gene SUMA whatever. I do have some SUMA problems and uh, they're somewhere on my hard drive. Um, so can we local history, show history? And hopefully I've got it here somewhere. Oh, okay, this looks better. Sure, that looks fine. Ish. Um, Does this directory still exist? Maybe. Let's import some SUME. Invalid result. Wait, trying file, trying file, etc. All right, import successfully, zero. Errors during import, zero. Well, as long as there's no errors, it all worked, right? No, um, not really. Wait, what? Did this actually import? It could not have gone that quickly. Further, there were only like 10 of these files. Um, downloads sample data. Okay, yeah, this directory exists. You're reading a article about computer-generated SUMA problems and seem fairly interesting. Not as typical thing as exists in chess, though. Yeah, I've seen multiple chess problem creators. Um, there are still some open source ones out there. 
right, so why did this fail? Uh, file is equal to this, processing file, etc. Wait, don't I have a process? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Why? Okay, my earlier changes that fixed this aren't present. So I need to refix this. Processing file file of length file at length. There we go. Let's try that again. Okay. Oh, am I really going to have to step through this one line at a time again to figure out why it doesn't work? I guess so. Why is it not working this time? Okay, debugging also failed. But surely we have to hit this line, right? Okay, debugging failed again. I don't understand. How is it that like the program can execute, but I can't debug it? Okay, so we hit this. Um, oh, is this a matter of not having the correct number of zeros or something in the file name? Um, no, it does have the... Yeah, no, it's just missing a slash. That's the problem. Is that because we decided to do everything with strings... Uh, and because that doesn't work, yeah, I need to actually put a trailing slash on my path um, for this to work. Some stupid little implementation detail that's made necessary by the fact that we're using strings instead of using files. Um, Alright, so we got some problems imported, I guess. Inserted key foo, inserted, inserted, gold at head, import result, 10 files successfully processed. Good. Um, so now that we have 10 sume, um, now I should be able to run the site in dev mode and observe these and see what they look like. Um, that's not it. It's also the wrong thing. So yeah, we want to run GWT dev mode. And this launches a browser. And with this browser, I should be able to observe a problem and it would be nice to see stuff in Gota's hand because the way it should have been stored in the database should have had all the information 
all the uh, extra pieces are should be in Gota's hand now. Well, it's interesting that there's an ELO attribute of a problem. I didn't know about that. Now I know. Um, but yeah, let's see. This is using Kifu 1023 through 1032. Let's take a look at the Kifu. All right, this is what it looks like. Wait, what? GQ unknown. All these are going to say GQ unknown. I don't know what that refers to. Oh, game date and game something. Because, like, that looks like a date. Um, See, so here's our position, and this shows everything in both players' hands. So I didn't look before I made my code change to see whether or not what was in players' hands was the problem, because I just assumed. And now that we have all these pieces, um, so how many of these have nothing in player hands? Can I expand this data? I mean, I could just widen this on here. So. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that, like, okay, here's one with a golden hand. I uh, can't really tell which one this is, but this should be, uh, I don't know. So there's one that has seven lance one. Can I find anything that looks like seven lance one? With seven empty spaces and then a lance. Either across the first column or the first row. Oh, I'm sorry. This must be... No, that can't be right. Whatever. There's not a whole lot of problems, and most of these don't have anything in the player's hand. Um, I guess we're going to start copying these into here so I have a better chance of reading them. Or maybe I just uh, purge all the tables and import just one problem instead of doing this. That would be smart. That would be too smart for me. Um, but yeah, I would assume that this sort of thing indicates what's in each player's hand. But that doesn't make sense. Yeah, four gold, four silver, four knight, two lance, 17 pawns. So this must be Gota's hand right there. Um, but then on the right hand side of this, it says 3C, 3E. Oh, perhaps this is a solution. Yeah. Okay. So that's how the solutions are represented. So, yeah, pieces in hand. Oh, I see. So here's how you'd say a rook in hand, and then all the lowercase letters are stuff Gota has in hand. Okay, so yeah, that's definitely represented now. It might not have been earlier, but now we have the data, so 
it's just a matter of making sure it gets presented correctly. Like this here where we have 15 pawns and um, go to his hand, we should see that. And we don't. Um, I'm looking in the wrong module. Um, I don't know if we have hot code reloading or not. Um, so to retest this, I'll need to dismiss the development kit. And okay, this has been stopped. And then recompile. It's recompiled and then we go back into dev mode. There we go. So yeah, it's just a matter of making sure the flag is set to show the pieces now that I have the data to support that. That's a lot of pawns. Um, and a lot of other stuff. I would not want to be facing that in a real game. But, hey, we have mates, so nothing to worry about. <laughs> uh, it looks scarier with that being so tiny. Yeah, there we go. Easy. First try. Alright, so something is setting this flag. Show go to Komodai. <sighs> so this is set Um, we actually don't care about accessors right now, I just care about setters. Oh, I'm sorry, well, there we go. This is what I'm trying to find. Um, so in Biyomi view, uh, why? <laughs> we went out of our way to hide that. I guess because we never sanity checked what was there. Um, 
in the sumo view. Yeah, no. Hmm. Alright, well this does raise questions, like since now this stuff is showing, I can't interact with it, right? Yeah, that's good. Um, which raises the more obvious question, like, was, how much of this was necessary? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess one way to know would be to open up one of these Kifu, see what's in it. Um... Yeah, that's what I thought. So, like, here's the representation of the position and the solution and stuff. And if I'm reading this correctly, that isn't a lot of pieces. So, I don't know exactly what that refers to, but um, that's pretty cool. Let's see, I think all of this is required for my patch to work. So, we've demonstrated it working now. Um, let's start committing stuff. Suma view, get commit file. So we need Suma view. We don't need Suma importer. Um, we do need Bioyomi view. We don't need DB connection. Oh, right. And since I hadn't pushed this to GitHub yet, um, fix tell march. It's till March with a capital M. I can never remember. No. Play show key number 25. So there we go. Amend previous commit. commit and push. Push. There we go. Mission accomplished. Um, although it'll probably go smoother if I show a screenshot, so let's do that. Um, our screenshot doesn't need to include all the dead space so we can clean that up uh, there we go crop um, oh wait uh, I'm wanting <laughs> now what I'm wanting to do is create the pull request. Preview. All right, create pull request. see if that's what he has in mind or if he has got something else in mind although in fairness uh, tell March wasn't the one who recorded the issue it was sleeping chinchilla who created that issue so maybe there are differences in opinion there could be creative differences which 
um, could account for. All right, uh, just let me know when they're done coding that. That's fine. Okay, yeah, back to notifications. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we got this pieces in hand display. It might work. It might be okay. They might want something else. I don't know. That's a lot of pawns. <laughs> Uh, also, yeah, this, well, I guess this is how it would look in real life, that if you're playing against an opponent and they put their most prominent pieces at the top of the piece stand, this is how their piece stand would look. Um, traditionally, at least as far as I can see, 81 Dojo and other sites always list the most prominent pieces at the top of the piece stand. So, yeah, potentially that we might want to move this rook to the upper left corner, etc. But nice. It's good when stuff works. Um, is there another issue that I could figure out? Oh, also, I should start practicing because, like, I'm going to have um, that. I have various tournaments I'm playing in, and I should practice a bit, although coding is kind of fun, somehow. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure. Unnecessary piece drop. Hash passwords, multiple answers. Um, Oh, yeah, the other thing I... Yeah. The thing about navigating through the problems um, and allowing people, players to keep track of their progress, um, that's not easy. Um, Alright, so... Dobotsu... Certificate store... Yeah, I... I like this Dobotsu idea. It's cool, but... I think at this point I've sufficiently created a large backlog of things for the maintainer to review. I should probably hold off on doing tons of new development until existing stuff has been reviewed. And I don't see anything that's clearly a bug fix. Um, like Some of these things are going to require being able to log in as a user and then figure out how to attach user preferences to the user. I don't want to code it one way and then have to change it. Um, and as much as like these bad problems are a real issue, I don't have that data set. So I have some data, but I don't have the ones that have the bad problem. I don't have the Kifu or whatever that have the invalid problems in them. So I can't really attempt to fix those right now. Show coordinates on board is doable, but um, yeah, I don't like doing UI stuff. Huh. So, yeah, I think that's probably a good breaking point. Um, I'm kind of impressed. Like, there's only three open pull requests, and yet it feels like a lot more. Um, okay, this is fixed in a different way, but my other pull requests were all accepted. Um, so, yeah, this code golfing thing, uh, there are no known issues. Um, yeah, the Suma Shogi putting the unused pieces in Gota's hand makes sense. And preserving the Sume category when you skip next. Um, and that, I don't know if I'm going to get feedback on that or not. I don't think like this all button down here is popular anyway. And it, I don't think it necessarily makes sense to have it. Um, so... Like, you could just as well have a button that just says randomly select a radio button for me. 
selecting all problem. Well, I guess all is useful because it masks the difficulty of the problem. But also not all problems in the same category are of the same difficulty. I guess I view this, this problems perspective, as a way of practicing. And when you're ready for the real deal with the entire problem set, then you would go to Bioyomi Survival instead. So I don't think we need the all button here. Anyway. Yep, progress is gradual, but consistent. Um, yeah. Maybe someday we could get like a machine learning thing trained on detecting this kind of stuff. Um, another idea uh, so sume and game features feature detection um, so yeah I don't really know exactly what that would entail and that's why I haven't even bothered putting an issue in the tracker for it because it could mean different things to different people and I don't really have a strong impression as to what I want that to mean right now oh yeah and then there's ah uh, this is delightful I should see if I can fix that at some point um, to accept Hidechi's old notation um, so yeah, I think that's a good point to wrap up. Uh, so to really wrap things up, let's, uh, we've terminated this server, good. Let's, for next time, make sure I'm not on this, um, unused pieces branch, but now I've checked out master, so I don't accidentally break my stuff. Um. Okay. Yep, and we can see all my local changes. Oh, wait. Did I? I hopefully did not commit. The, yeah, the Sume importer is unchanged here. Uh, at some point, I did make. I did commit some changes to the Sume importer. I did commit changes to. Um, the game file reader. I guess maybe I just didn't pull request the changes or something. That's kind of weird. Because, yeah, this... Um, that's what had me confused here. Only three pull requests. All my other ones have been accepted. So this is making me think, what if I didn't actually submit the pull request for some of my other changes? And if I didn't submit a pull request, was that deliberate or accidental? File reader cleanup. I think I just forgot that I did this. Um, so what did this entail? Clean, pro set, and sume importers. Yeah, I should have pull requested this. I didn't. And that's why I had problems today. Um, file reader cleanup, eh? All right. New pull request from cross forks. Um, okay, this is a terrible description. Can I do better at describing what I did? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Let's find out. So, what I did... I mean, really, it is code cleanup. Um, there wasn't real a whole lot else to this. 
It's just making it easier to use in the future. Um, this helped me deal with... Um, this helped me isolate... This helped isolate... Um, path delimiter... Um, Let's see. Passing around, uh, passing java.io.file file instead of java dot lang dot string. Um, using java dot io dot file where possible made it easier to troubleshoot. Um, yeah, I don't even need to explain this. If it's not evident from the code change, um, I experienced issues during my first file import, some of which were half delimiter delimiter related because um, um, this for example this fixes um, this handles the case where I forget to put a delimiter at the end of my directory. Half directory containing, um, yeah. data types such as java.io.file allows for handling uh, no, handles the case where I forget to put a delimiter at the end of my file path directory. Um, which, uh, yeah, but also, uh, some I also took this opportunity to clean to add some more logging. There we go. So this was not even requested, but even though it's not referenced in the issues list, it could be of interest anyway. Um, or it could just be rejected because like all the problems have been imported already why do we need to fix the importer so there's that angle too um what are the other branches i have here some unused pieces code golf checkmate score highlight this has been merged already right one commit ahead 30 commits behind after a checkmate, do not suggest additional piece destinations. Um, I don't remember if this has been merged already or not. 
I think I developed this and then didn't like it. Yeah, I think that was the deal. So I developed this, tried it out, and I didn't like it. And I'm like, you know, if I don't enjoy this, I don't think anybody wants it. So I should get rid of this. I should unpublish this change. Wait, but this is related to number 22. All right, uh, surprise that my patch has no effect. Oh, okay. So I tried this, I didn't like my patch, and the reason I didn't like it eight days ago is because my patch doesn't work. <laughs> that could have something to do with it. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to fix that today either. But I'll leave my patch out there. Wait for various other things to get merged first. And then continue working on my patch um, once we have a cleaner code base to work with. Um, yeah, but we've been coding for a couple hours here. It's a good time to take a break. So yeah, there we have it. Super exciting. I don't know, like, everything about using software is way more exciting than watching coding, but we stream it anyway. Um, and of course, because the coding's not particularly exciting, um, I'm talking the whole time to try to entertain. Although half of it's mumbling, because, like, what can you say? It's coding. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.